Hello and welcome to my show and today we have a very special interview. If you are a Microsoft Fabric enthusiast and if you are following Microsoft Fabric news on social media platforms like LinkedIn and Twitter, you will find Powell from Microsoft share a lot of information about it. He has a blog where every month he shares the MVP contribution. Other than that, he is pretty active on social media about Microsoft Fabric release. Pa Pavel Potasinski is a senior program manager at Microsoft and a member of product team working with the Azure Synapse Analytics and Microsoft Fabric community. He is a former MVP also. Hi, Pavel. Welcome to the show. Hi, Amit. Thanks for inviting me. Pavel, tell us about yourself, how you want the community to perceive you. I'm a member of the Fabric community team. Our job is to build a strong relationship between the community and the Fabric product team. I am focused on building relationships with Microsoft most valuable professionals, MVPs, just like you, leading technology experts and community leaders. You can see me having lots of interactions with MVPs, but also evangelizing the community by sharing latest news from Fabric and community contributions, as well as presenting on Fabric at events and user group meetings. So you can perceive me as a mix of community manager and evangelist. Please share your journey of joining Microsoft and your experience leading up to your involvement with Microsoft Fabric. Almost my entire professional career revolves around data and Microsoft technologies. I worked as a SQL programmer, data engineer, implementing big data systems and data warehouses, IT trainer and data solution architect. Thanks to my involvement in the development of the IT community, I was noticed by my first boss at Microsoft and in 2012 I joined Microsoft for the first time. In 2019, I met my current boss, Savin Reddy. At that time, I was an MVP actively sharing my feedback with the Azure Synapse Analytics product team. And somehow Savin remembered me at the end of 2021. He invited me to recruit for my current position. So here I am working as a program manager on the product team and fulfilling my dreams. Discuss your MVP journey with us, your contribution and accomplish to reach there. My MVP journey started about 20 years ago. At that time, I became heavily involved in the Polish IT community gathered around the WSS.pl and CodeGuru.pl portals. I've been very active on these forums and solved hundreds of SQL Server database issues submitted by other users. And then in 2007, together with several friends from local SQL Server community, I started the Polish SQL Server user group, currently known as Data Community Poland. At first, we only had quite intimate group meetings with the support of our friendly Warsaw group of .NET developers, but over time, we also started organizing conferences for dozens and then hundreds of participants. That's how the SQL Day event was born. It's an annual event in Poland focused on Microsoft Data Platform, now gathering about 800 people every year. My other contributions were blogging and involvement in, com in global communities. I was a volunteer at the European PASS conference and a member of Culminis, later known as Gitka, the association supporting communities of IT pros worldwide. And then Microsoft decided to, ho to honor me with my first MVP award in 2008. It was in the SQL Server category. Later on, I got seven MVP awards more in both SQL Server and Data Platform categories. What prompted the concept of developing an integrated platform like Microsoft Fabric? Can you share insights into the thought process that drove its creation? The process was all about listening to customers, partners and community members. We heard from them that building analytics solutions based on Microsoft services and products remained complicated even though we already offered past services, platform as a service services in Azure. So the idea behind Fabric is most of all about simplification and getting rid of data silos. Please enlighten the unique aspect that sets Microsoft Fabric apart from other analytic solutions available in the market. I think it was perfectly highlighted by Arun Ulak in his announcement blog. There are five 
uh, five areas that set Fabric apart from the rest of the market. Number one, Fabric is a complete analytics platform. Customers can use a single product delivered as a software as a service with unified user experience and architecture that provides all capabilities required for different roles involved in building solutions for, for analytics. So you can build an end-to-end -end solution in a single product. Second, Fabric is lake-centric and open at, on every layer. It comes with a concept of one lake, which we call OneDrive for all data, a single unified storage system built on and compatible with well-known Azure Data Lake Storage Generation 2. And that makes the existing tools and applications immediately compatible with one lake. One Lake comes with several unique concepts, for example, One Copy, a capability called Shortcuts, allow, allows One Lake to virtualize data lake storages like ADLS Gen 2 or Amazon S3 buckets without data movement. Also, we, in Fabric, we standardize on Delta format for storing data behind data items like lake houses and warehouses. Number three, Fabric is powered by AI. The plan is to have Copilot in every experience of Fabric so users can use conversational language to generate code, build machine learning models, or even visualize data and insights. Number four, Fabric empowers every business user. With Fabric, uh, you can turn your Microsoft 365 apps into hubs for uncovering and applying insights. And number five, Fabric simplifies billing and reduces costs through unified capacities. Customers can purchase a single pool of computing that powers all Fabric workloads. How Microsoft envisions reshaping the data journey for the customer through the utilization of Microsoft Fabric? Uh, we want our customers to focus on getting value from data to digitally transform and gain competitive advantages rather than building and maintaining an infrastructure for analytics. Fabric allows organizations to shorten the time to value by providing everything that is required to build an end-to-end -end solution for different scenarios of analytics. Ideally, we want our customers to have their first wow moment in minutes and to be able to effectively use existing skills of people working in different roles of the analytical projects. Please share some of the best practices and insights on effectively leveraging the capabilities of Microsoft Fabric. Let me share a couple of them. Uh, first, focus on actionable business insights, experiment a lot, and embrace the fail fast approach. Two, pick one scenario at a time and try implementing it in Fabric. Number three, think of data as a product. Four, Leverage the power of one leg to minimize data duplication and immediately incorporate existing data stored in data legs. And number five, bring your skills and experiences to Fabric. For example, build a medallion architecture with lake houses and warehouses, transform data using PySpark in notebooks or leverage Power Query in Dataflows Gen 2 for local data transformation, work with stored procedures in T-SQL if that's the way you used to work with data. Fabric gives a lot of freedom when it comes to how you want to play with data, while keeping data in one place and one standard, standard format, providing unified experience for the users, and centralized management and governance. How can customers and developers effectively report the issues, bugs, and other concerns related to Microsoft Fabric? Is there a unified community platform for all the Fabric components? Bugs can be reported directly from the Fabric portal. Simply click on the question mark in the top right corner of the screen and select the Get Help option. You will be redirected to the Fabric support site. Ideas of the new features can be shared with the product team using Fabric Ideas site, aka.ms slash Fabric Ideas. Uh, a link to this site is also available in the Fabric portal. Just click on the face icon in the top right corner of the screen and there is a Submit Idea option. Also, you can share your questions or problems with the community using the dedicated Fabric Community site, aka.ms slash Fabric Community. A link to this site is also available in the portal under the face icon. The community site is divided into four parts. One is for Power BI, the other is for Synapse, which covers four Synapse experiences, data engineering, warehousing, real-time analytics, and data science. There is a data factory a part of the forum and also we have the newest one for data activated. 
please share some of the upcoming features or enhancement that user can expect from the Microsoft Fabric in near future. Let me mention three features without specifying their ETA. Uh, number one, co-pilots for sure. You know that uh, the workload teams are working on co-pilots that would support users working with different experiences in Fabric. So data engineers will get their own co-pilot to support working with notebooks. SQL developers working with warehouses will get theirs to support uh, writing T-SQL code and Power BI users and developers will get theirs to support their creation of reports. Uh, number two, uh, features related to one security in Fabric. We realize that uh, software as a service services and products also need to provide features that allow hardening. And number three, uh, features useful for mig migration scenarios, especially migrations from Azure Pass services like Azure Synapse and Azure Data Factory. Uh, we want to make the Fabric migration experience smooth for customers who have invested in Azure services. How should a student perceive the new analytics platform, Microsoft Fabric? How can it benefit them in their educational career pursuit? I think Microsoft Fabric is a great platform to practice many core aspects of solutions for data and analytics. Students can easily use Fabric to gain and practice useful skills like Spark, Python, data lakes, lake houses, data warehouses, SQL, KQL, data modeling, Power BI, including DAX and reporting. And all that without the burden of setting the infrastructure or building sophisticated architecture consisted of multiple products, often provided by many different vendors. It was a real pleasure to speak with you, Powell, today. We hope to see you again in the near future. For all the viewers, thanks for watching this particular interview session with Powell. I hope you really enjoyed it. Do let me know if you have more questions. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.